Okay. All right. Cool. So, uh, who are you guys rooting for? Oh, definitely um, Black. Same. Definitely Black Adam. Black Adam is my boy. I can't, I can't see him die. Yeah, Going all in the rock, baby. Did you guys uh hear about that like Christmas comic? Christmas comic? All right. So like, what happened <laughs> is that like a girl moved to like Condock, and then like yeah. she was sad because Santa doesn't deliver presents there. So Black Adam oh. went all the way to the North Pole, beat the shit out of Santa, and told him, "This is where Condock is. Every kid is gonna get presents here, and I'm fine with getting cold. Just give all the present kids the presents." And then he left. Oh my god, that's amazing! <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, now Black Adam definitely can't lose. I know, Santa scaling. Get Santa scaling. Yeah, Santa scaling, man. Didn't Lobo also beat up Santa at one point? I don't remember. I think he did. I think, and I do know yeah, that I Santa I know delivers coal to Darkseid every time, every year. Yeah. <laughs> and every time he escapes Darkseid. I know. That kind of reminds me of that, that, um, that comic where Thanos basically just fucks around with a guy <laughs> every, every like time he has a birthday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Make sure he never has a good birthday. <laughs> yeah. Thanos just be a real dick like that. Dude, when am I gonna get Marvel Santa versus DC Santa death battle? Like, for real. Need probably, that. Probably after Lucifer versus Beyonder. Yeah. I've been watching I've been watching the Lucifer show. Really good. You should totally watch it. It's actually really entertaining. Um, I really hope if they do make lucifer versus beyonder that they use the show like that they like use the character wise they use a show version because that's just the best version in my opinion yeah lucifer uh versus all right excuse, sorry i just had to get something uh lucifer cool. versus uh beyonder that's like it's like a really interesting match because like nemesis pointing pointed out because that like it's a it it's a really cool match conceptually, but like the conclusion yeah. would just basically boil down to this guy is just more infinite than the other guy. Yeah, it's pretty stupid. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is kind of stupid, but like, I still would like to see it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, are you guys ready to start? Yep, I'm ready. Yeah, ready. All right, let's go. Can you guys see it okay? Hear it okay? Ooh. Yeah. Can you guys hear it? Right, let's do this. Yep. Let's go. Black Adam, DC's ferocious champion of Shazam. The goat Apocalypse. for real. Marvel's baleful mutant conqueror. Anubis, Toth, Ra. For over 30 centuries, Egyptian mythology spawned countless legends. Oscar and we've Isaac. got comics big as baddies this side the of the rock. Nile. He's the Wiz rock. and Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Imagine if, uh, imagine if Black Adam does You've heard the of Gotham, rock the eyebrow mascara, raise in the fight. Metropolis, <laughs> just a few oh, of DC's God. unique toy spots. But there's them. another. South of the Mediterranean Sea and North of the Sinai Peninsula rests the sovereign yeah. nation of Kondok. While those spots have <sighs> Superman and Batman solving crimes like it's magic, Kondok's got an actual magic man saving them. Black Adam. So what do you guys think Teth of the preview? Adam and his people were enslaved by the Conqueror I really enjoyed Ebon, it. his I army of barbarians. I really, oh, I really like it, too. Nephew, Amon. Upon mm, yeah, I don't have death, much to say about it other than I like it. It's eternity. good. Yeah. A mystic think, lair that has defended I think I actually like the Apocalypse preview a little more than Black Adam, which is surprising. I I don't know which ones I like more. Seeing the purity and little of the monster, this one of the Gandalf decked him out with super magic. And being the nice guy he is, Amon shared some magic power with his uncle. Spoiler alert! Not his best idea. They returned. I, I will say the zoo, like the Shizu yeah, zoo, which kind of yeah. fell flat. Amon wanted to use his mm. powers to resolve matters in yeah, a peaceful did. fashion. However, Teth Adam desired vengeance, emancipation through slaughter. So Uncle Teth set his nephew down, man to man, looked him straight in the eyes, and then freaking killed him. Then used his borrowed power to steal the rest of the super magic. 
You know what they say? Jesus. No nephew, no problem with the Here, full boy, might let of me the wizards at his fingertips. Got to have a top man the barbarians and freed his city. Just killed Suffice him. to say, <laughs> he's not exactly your typical hero. Even the superhero A-listers don't try him, and for good reason. Kmart Merlin here didn't give Adam some nerdy wand, but Kmart that Merlin. dope shit, the living Kmart lightning. Merlin. While it may function just like real lightning, <laughs> this a Kmart Merlin lightning is the among the most potent spells Merlin. in comics history. It's magic I'm lightning! More curious you ever seen normal lightning kickstart a giant's heart oh, and juice up the flash? Merlin. Because Black Adam's lightning did, and I don't activating know. it is it's as easy as saying Merlin. the magic word, Shazam! Wait, wait, hold up. That's Billy's word. Shouldn't he's he's like lantern, right? Black Adam or Shazam? Uh, oh, wait. Remember, oh my he does have a Kmart Merlin. Me. This is Mamarai, oh, yeah. the mightiest of the wizards. Oh, to gosh. better protect the multiverse's magic, he promotes individuals to be his mythic champions. Black Adam is one of the first. So, kind of like Shazam with another name. I like my idea I will better. say, uh, Shazoo! these two had really more connections you know, you than I quiet. originally like thought. Like when you're in a zoo or, you know, the mm. animals will f***ing kill you. Wait, is that oh. not a real thing? Can I talk at the zoo? But oh, really? when Teth Adam shouts his magic word, yeah. lightning pours from the clouds, oh. transforming him from meager human I, I to never a wizard Jesus. I thought I thought it was just God. oh well, Egypt. God. Plural. But like, his gifts come from multiple it's more like legends. they were treated first, poorly from birth. They were the one of the God. first, Zeus, like, Atlas, of Herc, you know, a certain type of hero, and like the mutants and really the out, though, yeah. Disney people. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's a bit more deeper than return. I originally thought. So Black Adam's most devoted followers not, collected not all suity, his ashes but, you know, and prayed their hearts out, there. this time to their own pantheon. Goodbye muscles and hello bird people! Black Adam was reborn, now with the powers of oh the God, Egyptian see. pantheon. Oh my gosh. Gods like Shu, Amun, At least it has Horus more gave Adam the basics, than dang super strength, Batman speed, versus light, Captain and an America. undying body. But the real magic with the other three. <laughs> the power of Aten channels the living lightning Captain throughout America's his entire body face. for combat that was purposes. Amazing. And I know, the wisdom it, it, of Zahuti improves yeah, Black Adam's we'll strategic say it did have thinking. That. It's a council of knowledge from the gods that clues Black Adam in on how to defeat his enemies. Like, for instance, when evil Joker Batman drove Billy Mad. Billy went all King Shazam oh. on Kondak. But guess what? Zahuti had Black Adam instinctively lead Billy into a trap to destroy his ass with the power of Sunday prayers. Hallelujah! Holy shit! And finally, the courage of Mahen. Besides minor That's healing a bit of a different Sunday attacks, service I've Mahen's been power to. granted Black Adam an indomitable mm. will. It's got him through some really rough patches. His Black family his pointy dead. Ears. His country wasted. I, I saw someone make revived. the comparison that she his comic stone. self looks you like Dracula down, from sure, Dracula Transylvania. But he ain't staying there. <laughs> Mahen helped make Black oh, Adam oh, a non-wavering and decisive leader. The whole world You're can right. turn against him, but Maybe he I have to go fight Shazam. To reach those ends, he's partnered with the I Justice Society of America, the Society of Supervillains, and even the Justice League. With Rubbed elbows with Superman one day and Lex the next. So, uh, well, I actually don't know. A good guy or a bad I think guy? I actually prefer uh, him with the cape. Only the side that benefits his people matters. He's not concerned with morality, and his I like, I like both, frequently but misunderstood. It's what it, it really the depends on the JSA style. Jumping him. Twice. Mm. And yeah, they still I couldn't check him. Adam's just built that different. With Black Adam or without the sandstorms with a single clap, style, pushed the moon, the and killed Boomstick the Boomstick just said that Black Adam apocalypse. is built different. One time when space cultists came <sighs> oh and knocked on Earth, he really he is. Side by side with his best bro, it's Sinestro. True. Afterward, when the Yellow Lanterns dipped and took their rings with him, Sinestro let Black Adam keep the one he got. Now that's a bromance! And can I, I just say, you, Black bro, Adam makes a got mean you, lightning tiger. He murdered so the Council of Wizards and later fight, endangered right? Mamoraga um, himself. Oh, I'm not sure. Mighty Wizards are part of the Quintessence. Basically, no, he just steps on a pot and goes, Ooh, I stepped in no a loser. Since Black Adam effortlessly broke Spectre's body, another Quintessence person. Like sure, he's bit. torn off Hawkman's wing and tried to kill Wonder Woman, but through the eyes of his people and loved ones, Black Adam is a hero. A moment's gaze from their idol is all they need to carry on living. So invaders beware, no one's truly safe from the true, savage champion of Shazam. Ah oh, shit, I was kinda hoping I'd transform there. Shazoo! <laughs> Fuck! That Never was pretty funny. Tell you about one of my favorite graphic that was novels. kinda like the, the raging the demon jokes days, from when um, madness reigns supreme and order Hercule is shattered, mounted Dana upon Biggie. white horses yeah. death Destruction, yeah. pestilence, and famine bring about a world anew. It gets dark as shit, like literally, and I'm there for it. Are you?
talking about the Bible? What? No, this is a Marvel comic. Dude, imagine if Apocalypse was ago like in Marvel comics, scaling. the Egyptian Akaba oh tribe birthed something I'm terrible like, well, an ugly <laughs> child. <laughs> to them, he was a demon. Like a mix between Great Value Thanos and a box of chalk sticks. So they midnight dumpster baby his ass in the, the desert to die. Jesus Luckily, lost to Ball of the Crimson Sands tribe saw differently. Within this child, he um, saw you're a forgetting that Booster Gold is a god of one man. <laughs> I was just quoting and something all, that Boomstick said in Cable vs. Booster Only the strong survive. Mm. Nur became a warrior, same as his peers, but his physical differences yeah, made his experience unique. Gold. He was stronger, yeah. smarter, Booster Gold sub is your favorite first. <laughs> Even to these people, he was I gotta say, <laughs> Death Battle, like, single-handedly made Booster Gold, like, my favorite no one left on his side Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But everyone he meets and then just they have to go uh, to make reverse flash one of my most favorite characters life. of all time. Can't just swipe right, girl. Yeah. God really? Damn. And so yeah. he embraced the perceived truth. Dude. If he was a monster, he I'm would like prove a huge reverse flash. It. Betrayed right by all and respected by none. If no one would care for N Sabanur, they would all you know, fear apparently I learned this the other Long day, story short, he's a mutant. And not just a creepy looking dude the like me. Oh god, I almost threw my mouth a little bit. But like, um, anyway, um, he's got from, superpowers and they're on a whole like the nother Flash level. CW he has show. inhuman physiology he and actually wears the same costume as reverse control Flash over his molecular structure. Is that he has allowing red him to reshape and mold his body however he pleases. Yeah, but I guess he's too proud to just like turn himself into Jason that. Momoa or something. With a combination yeah, it's, it's of his not so confusing. screwed tight tactical brain and prowess, Apocalypse conquered Egypt, leading it into a prosperous age with an okay. iron fist and an ocean of blood. He'd then set his sights on the very world itself. Just one problem. The world had a bunch of X-Men and Avengers running around stopping his world domination. To accomplish his big dream, Apocalypse needed something more. But that would all change upon the arrival of a certain mutant yeah. messiah. Okay, so What's first, Apocalypse, Apocalypse found some space of... tech that belonged to Celestials, basically know. Marvel's gods. Despite his amazing potential, he wasn't able to make use of the technology until God. the time traveler he's, Cable he's showed up to kill him. Machine, Instead, Cable accidentally infected oh Apocalypse God, with a techno-organic virus, Apocalypse a disease that turns it's organic matter to futuristic technology. <laughs> it turns out, this um, is exactly what Apocalypse um, needed to access the Celestial tech. Yeah. With the promise that he would repay the Celestials later, he was bestowed a gem that would change the game forever. This is a death seed, a celestial artifact with the purpose of leading Earth into a higher evolved form. By injecting a death seed into someone, they are transfigured into one of Apocalypse's horsemen, a being of incredibly fatal power. Don't forget about that techno-organic virus either. Controlling the virus the means controlling all technology all with your mind. Cable couldn't tame it, but Apocalypse's power is so vast, he had no issues controlling it. So, take a god pyramid, add a super tech virus, multiply the X gene, and what do you get? An Apocalypse who is unrecognizable from his meager past. With these three under his command, any superpower you can think of is now at his disposal. Apocalypse can teleport, blast all sorts of energy, turn invisible, regenerate limbs, read minds, and friggin' fly. So apparently this whiz, fight is like really close. Black Adam like takes stats by a lot, but like Apocalypse has way, he way too absorbed many Cyclops hacks. Laser with his bare uh. hand. The same laser so like I saw in the, it wasn't long what's it called, the, the G1 blog that like Black Adam got like only one by one Oh. Fake bodies, entire robot oh, damn. Bodies, yeah. and even oh, morph damn. himself into a kaiju. At his peak, virtually no one stands a chance. Well, what's on with a his bad face, day, dude? Apocalypse bodied six I of the strongest. I have no idea. Bro, why, why he got the quagmire toilet alone face? Contends with Jean Grey, one of the greatest psychics in Marvel. It's impossible to make Apocalypse look good. I know. And Thor, and we all know how crazy sorry, those two are. We're talking about heroes that are going to destroy the Marvel universe. He's just a beta male dark side. Timeline. Apocalypse even slaughtered the Celestials. With his bare hands! His bare freaking hands! Wow, way to pay him back for that solid they did you, bro. With that death seed in tow, it's bro. hard to attribute Apocalypse as anything but a force of nature. Especially when said death seed has mutated beings capable of fighting the Phoenix Force, a cosmic entity and the primal force of life. In fact, Doctor Doom claims the death seed is directly comparable to the Phoenix itself. So much pain, so many Jesus. bodies. Dang. Apocalypse is an agent of war and has the scars to back it up. And even when someone manages to take him down, so long as he's got blood, 
metal, and that death seed, he'll just keep coming back again and again and again. Ball will be proud will for what blood. is more inevitable. And more if Black Adam wins, I want to see a scene where like he's about to regenerate from like a single himself. drop of blood, but like he just gets electrocuted. And it like evaporates. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possible. All right, so final predictions. Um, I'm holding out for Black Adam, but I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if Apocalypse wins. Yeah, me too. Honestly, same. Yeah, I'm still gotta put my vote on Black Adam, but I honestly don't even know anymore. I think mm. Apocalypse has a pretty good chance. Like I think Apocalypse that death seed is. Yeah, that death seed is pretty overpowered. Yeah, he's yeah. got the death seed. He's got all the hacks and shit. Yeah. But yeah. he's fighting the rock. That is true. He is fighting the rock. Not much can he stand in the way of that. Alright, so you guys ready to start? Yeah, man. Hell yeah, I am. Let's go. It's time for, for a, a death, death battle! battle! What do you guys think of the track? I, I haven't really listened to it, but it doesn't really fit the character. Exactly my thoughts. And there he is. There is the rock, the, the goat, for real. You <laughs> missed the victory, it's me when I Get him! Where's your general, interloper? I didn't know he had like cyborg, so I thought they just changed his design. Yeah. yeah. When I when I first saw the sneak peek, I was like, oh, he just killed him right off the bat. Okay. Yeah. Standing. Yeah. <laughs> this is a huge step up from the DBX. Oh, definitely. Oh. <laughs> is that like it's hard or something? I have no clue. Oh. That's a raw shot. You will learn to oh. fear me. Let's go. Oh, a little sad he doesn't change the ground. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, they shattered the moon. The there he goes. Get the hell Big out of my country. country. Yeah. Yo, oh, the dude, that, this sh these shots go raw. Yeah, it's yeah, so hard. Good. I refuse to relinquish my home to you, heretics. Push us off! Oh, my God. Everyone. Damn. Oh, Jesus. Did he actually... Oh, wait. I offered you a choice. Now, Oh my god, I actually wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Oh, the second time I've been wrong this yeah. year. Damn. Oh yeah. Huh. No more presents for the children. No, <laughs> sure brought the apocalypse to no me. The apocalypse shall get all the presents like, for what, Christmas. 30 whole dollars? Fuck 
Man, this result surprised us. For what it's worth, both Black Adam and Apocalypse displayed ludicrous levels of godlike ability. Both of their power supplies compared to cosmic beings like the Dang. Phoenix and Super Gandalf, and both fought Dang. heroes like Thor and Wonder Woman. Right, the victor could not be deduced by strength and speed alone. Rather, it depended on how their abilities countered each other. In that regard, Apocalypse held many advantages. For starters, yeah. they could one-up yeah. the living lightning. For almost any power Black Adam had, Apocalypse had a better version of it, and then some. Frankly, half of Black Adam's pantheon granted him abilities that Apocalypse possessed through his mutant genes alone, notwithstanding all his other abilities from Celestial Tech, the Techno-Organic Virus, and the Death Seed. Well, Black yeah. Adam did have Death something seed, Apocalypse man. didn't. The yeah. wisdom of Sahuti, Big Brain God, could definitely clue him in on that Death Seed stuff. And without a Death Seed, Apocalypse would not have fared nearly as well against Black Adam's strength and tenacity. So to win, Black Adam would have needed to figure out how to destroy the Death Seed, but Apocalypse could defend against that and had way more options for his own victory. His telepathy got the best of Jean Grey, and there's no reason Apocalypse couldn't mind-read Black Adam. The courage of Mahen may have safeguarded him from mental attacks, but it never made him immune to telepathy outright. But most importantly, Apocalypse could absorb all of Black Adam's energy powers and turn him right back around. The living lightning may yeah, be he just enchanted, had way too many hacks but it for Black is Adam. still yeah. lightning. It's frequently displayed yeah. properties of ionized Fair. energy. Thus, there's no reason Apocalypse couldn't absorb it for himself. Plus, it's been shared between people many times before, and the more it's given to other hosts, the weaker the original bearer becomes. Hell, stealing the power of the Living Lightning is how Teth Adam became Black Adam in the first place, so Apocalypse could do the same. By slurping up Black Adam's magic, Apocalypse grew in power while Black Adam got weaker. It was only a matter of time before Black Adam was literally helpless against the end uh, of all things. Black Sonic. Adam may have been power <laughs> incarnate, but Apocalypse oh is still broken. <laughs> Specific counters to the living oh, lightning meant he could rise to the challenge. Teth thought he had him until Noor gave him the boot. The winner is Apocalypse. The boot, Green Lantern versus has been 10 moment. Thank you for watching. Oh Stay tuned. We'll be jumping into the, the next matchup next week. <laughs> but you can always get more death battle right now. So right 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 I, I think I know what the next and time is. And by downloading the battle music yeah. linked down below. All right. Yeah. Drums? Oh, there he yeah. is. Hell yeah. Wait, is it yeah. Archie? No, it's just regular. Yeah. It says Archie. Oh, oh my god. god. It's here. It's heroes versus Archie. Oh my god. No. No oh way. God. Oh, I'm so hyped. <laughs> Although apparently, all right, apparently... it's all right. best episode of the season already. Oh my god, dude, that's gonna, dude, that's oh, this god. is gonna be such a hellhole for two weeks because like everything's gonna be going back and forth. Oh man! All right. <laughs> See, that changes things. If it's Archie him. Silver, I want to say he actually takes it. Yeah. Uh, Does Archie Silver have many of like Archie Sonic's hacks though? Because that's like really the only way. He yeah, can win. Uh, that's the thing. I don't. I don't know. He, he doesn't have as many hacks, but he's also like potentially stronger. His strength is just way more inconsistent than like Shadow or Sonic in the comics. Yeah. Is he also like way faster? I heard that yeah. like Silver is one of the stronger characters. Archie, that might be wrong. I don't really know much about Archie to begin with, but like, oh, he is. He definitely is. Yeah. But um, I'm pretty sure Trunks is gonna win, considering that Dragon Ball heroes can get to like hyperversal and like Archie. Yeah. Yeah. Like, multi. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. They yeah, have I, to I, heavily. I, I don't know much about um, either, but I think Trunks still has my vote right now. I'm not sure. Yeah. Honestly, I'm 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 kind of like going back and forth here. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what I did with uh Flash versus Sonic because like I originally mm. said uh, I think Archie has it, and then I was like Nah, maybe Wally, and then I just kept going back and forth between the two, like. God. Well, at least you had the common decency. You had the common sense to go back. I um. I was not that smart. <laughs> oh, you know what? Neither was I. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't blame you. I honestly thought Archie had it. Yeah. But, um... Oh, shoot. Wow. Okay, so... 
I was just looking up um um Xeno Trunks on the versus battle wiki. Is that the same as uh Heroes? Yes. Yeah. It's, ah, uh, okay, I didn't know that. So um apparently he has the um the awakened key sword. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, I forgot hat. about the key sword. And that silver Yeah, no, he doesn't have a lot. He doesn't have a good chance. Yeah, oh. no. I forgot about the key sword. Yeah. The key sword is like that's going to be like the make or break unless unless they somehow definitely... don't give it to him. Yeah. I definitely still think it's a much like closer, more interesting debate than like their base versions. Oh yeah, their base forms like silver. He don't. He doesn't even stand a slightest of a chance. But like Archie, that's uh, that gives him some more leeway, I guess. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm so so hyped for this episode. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> that's gonna be so fun to react to. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, we should probably talk more about um what we just other... witnessed. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be widely accepted that Archie Trunks is or not Archie <laughs> Archie Trunks. Yes, my Archie Trunks. Trunks. Oh god. Archie Trunks. Archie Trunks. Just imagine and... it said like base silver versus Archie slash Xeno Trunks. Oh my oh, god, that's god. overkill. Bro. That's not fair, man. Directed by Ben Singer. <laughs> so we all agree that this is basically just like Wally versus Sonic 2, right? Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. A and yeah, pretty much. At least it's not DC again. At least it's not Silver versus like, I don't know, freaking Martian Manhunter. I don't know. Yeah. I was going to say, importantly for me, this is Wally versus Archie again, but I love both characters. <laughs> Wait, you don't like Archie Sonic? Uh, no, actually, um, it was Wally that I wasn't the biggest fan of. Oh. The thing with Wally versus yeah, I, I... Sonic for me is that the episode made me a fan of those two characters, so I wasn't <laughs> exactly hyped for both. I loved, I loved Game well, Sonic yeah. at the time, I just wasn't too into Archie, you know? Yeah, no, I like, was... I, I loved Archie Sonic, I'm... I can't say I dislike Wally particularly, but I much prefer Barry. Yeah, I still I love Wally more. I'm, I'm sorry. A, I'm I'm more of an Eobard kind of guy myself. <laughs> Fair enough. Yep. Eobard. If you if you excuse me for just one sec, I gotta go get something. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that was definitely the most brutal finisher we've gotten this season. He stepped in loser again. <laughs> He really did. Ben 10 versus Green Lantern jokes will never me leave my mind. They're just ingrained in my memory. I'm honestly shocked. Because for the second and potentially final time this season, we got a Marvel vs. DC matchup where I was genuinely surprised by the winner. Really? Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't see Zatanna winning coming. It was more of like it made oh, a lot yeah. of sense when they understood, like when they explained it. It's like, yeah, it makes sense. I was also because even in my prediction video for Zatanna versus Wanda, I was all like, oh yeah, Wanda's definitely gonna win. And then when the episode came out and Wanda right, didn't win, I was like, oh, hello. We were just talking about um how um this is like the second episode that we're we've been surprised at a marvel dc ver this is the yeah. second time we've been surprised by a marvel versus dc episode that's what i'm trying to say yeah all right what was the first this one is also uh wanda versus atana hmm, same season too yeah oh yeah also coincidentally it was also this is also another vi uh, another um prediction that i got wrong which the other one being Wanda versus Satana. This is. I've only been wrong twice this <laughs> season. And the I'm thing with... hoping wrong the third time tomorrow or next um next time. The thing with I'm Wanda hoping... versus Satana for me is that like 
I did place my bet on Wanda, but also not really. Because, like, everyone else was saying, well, I guess I guess Scarlet Witch is going to win because, like, so-and-so. And I was like, okay. So I, I, was yeah. just, I was more expecting her to win rather than, than placing my bets on her. Mm. My, my thing I am glad. Kind of like, yeah. Yeah. like, I didn't really know anything about Zatanna at the time. So I heard everyone online saying, oh, Scarlet Witch takes this easy. And I was just like, okay, yeah, why yeah. not? I was kind of like, I was under the opinion that, because, like, Everywhere I looked, I always saw people say, oh, uh, Wanda is basically the agreed-upon winner, so I just assumed that she was going to win. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I'm uh, kind of glad she didn't. Same, dude. You see, the, you see, I see, like, those Wanda stands on Twitter all the yeah. time. And, yeah. like, and, like, every day, I'm more glad that Satana killed that bitch. Oh, yeah. Especially because, like, that episode yeah. made me absolutely fall in love with Zatanna's character. Dude, so it, I would have hated... Like, I would have hated if they build her up so much, make you love her, and then just bam, kill her off. I know. D- Death Battle, like, they made me... They somehow made me hate Scarlet Witch more than I already did. The thing is, I don't really hate Wanda. I mean... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say fun. hate Wanda. It's more hate the MCU Wanda. Yeah. Yeah, fair. I mean, because she started off fine, but then yeah. when they kind of started leaning into the whole she's the most powerful being in the, in the MCU, I kind of was like, okay. Yeah. And then when Multiverse of Madness came out, I was kind of just like, there's no redeeming this woman. She's, she's too far gone. Yeah. She... she enslaved an entire town, killed an alternate universe's version of the Avengers, and then tried to kill a child. Man, poor Captain Carter. She even, she even tried to fuck oh. herself over. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm honestly shocked that Wanda stands even exist after Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. Oh, uh, do you know what stimps are like? They're always like they always defend their favorite characters. Yeah. Like, yeah. I will admit, I am kind of guilty of that, too, with, like, Mario characters, because, like, I'll see people be like, eh, Mario, he's kind of a boring character, and then I'll, like, pull out a full-page essay on why he's not. So I I am kind of guilty of that, too, to be honest. I mean, no, that's I'm kind of guilty yeah. of, um... Alright, this is probably going to be my most egregious thing I've ever confessed. But there was a time that I truly believed that Kirby soloed every single verse. I mean, that's not too far fetched, to be honest. Well, I mean, it is Kirby, but like, I was like, I was like on like, I was like on the assumption that Kirby, basically, he just smacked the entire DC multiverse, like even characters like um, the Presence or Lucifer Morningstar. I was like, oh yeah, Kirby solos them. Yeah. And, well, um, I'm not of that opinion anymore, but it still haunts my nightmares. I mean, that's that's a lot of people's, like, casual perception of Kirby, so that makes sense. Some people, yeah. like, versus debate, like, regular people, they just look at Kirby, they just look like, oh, look at a cute little puffball. Versus debaters, we look at Kirby, and we see an unstoppable god, insatiable for, like, galaxies. Yeah. Well, you do get some versus debaters who, like, lowball Kirby to, like, what, wall level? <laughs> wall level Kirby. He's <laughs> wall level you- Kirby, get killed by some spikes. Dude, like, <laughs> th- it's like so funny when people like tried to use game mechanics as like an actual argument. Yeah, back when um Kirby versus Majin Buu was still like a really hot topic, I heard someone bring up, "Well, Kirby dies in like six hits, so how how did he live, Buu?" <laughs> She's like, "What? That doesn't make sense." I got into an argument with like someone today about like mario it was like there was like this whole thing on twitter where it was I, like, I was there i, oh, I saw i saw that oh yeah. my god that guy that but guy was, was really person, annoying there was one person who said that like um 
Mario doesn't tank like any like anything meaningful because he only dies in like three hits. <laughs> so then I like brought up the fact that Mario has taken hits from like Dreamy Bowser, who's amped up by like multiple universes. Yeah. And uh, let's just say I won that argument <laughs> because they didn't respond. <laughs> Even if, theoretically, no matter what hits him, he dies once, he's, like, out swam a black hole, so good luck getting that hit on him. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't fuck around with Mario. Mario is overpowered as hell. You saw that, like, meme I made about Mario to regular people versus Mario to versus debaters? Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. It reminded me of, um... That reminded me of... Of, um... Of like a a death a fan made death battle trailer I saw, of um, speedrunner Mario versus Wally West. Oh, I I saw that match it before, and I think, I think speedrunner Mario Mario unironically wins, which is like based as yeah. Him. He's always four parallel universes ahead. <laughs> Dude, one unironically one of my most wanted matchups is speedrunner Mario versus SMG four Mario. <laughs> I I think probably one of my most wanted matchups is Okay, are you ready for this? Go but ahead. one of my most wanted matchups is SMG4 versus Sunday. Sunday? <laughs> yeah. Huh. You know the Minecraft YouTuber? Oh, Sunday. <laughs> Basically Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Okay. So basically, he's he's making this Minecraft series called Insane Craft, where it's kind of like Crazy Craft, but it's um just generally a lot more insane. Yeah. And in this series, he basically in like the very first like part of it, he gets the Infinity Gauntlet, and um. Then he gets, like, powers beyond the Infinity Gauntlet. Like, there's this thing called the Sword of the Cosmos, which basically has infinite attack damage, and it can kill anything in one hit unless you have um, the armor made of the same stuff. But then he got, like, a bunch of weapons that are even more powerful than that. So Me when the Minecraft reason... YouTuber is, like, outer versal. <laughs> Yeah, so I was there's a reason say, to uh... believe that Sunday is a boundless entity who is capable of basically soloing every single every single verse ever created. <sighs> Yawn. Oh my God. Sunday solos your favorite verse. <laughs> well, you know, with we forget about the real matchup. Uh, what? Dragon Ball Heroes Trunks and Archie Silver versus Sunday. Oh my god. The T Sword got nothing. Yeah. They're just nothing. fighting and then like Sunday appears and be like, What a great fight. You two are so powerful. But you forget. God I am even stronger. <laughs> so what you do you boys need to be taught a lesson? <laughs> so what do you got what do you think of uh SMG four versus Devil Artemis, so Honestly, I. <laughs> that's a fun matchup. I like. It that. is a fun like matchup, matchup. Yeah. I'm just scared that Devil Artemis Cell loses because I really like Devil Artemis. Yeah, and and like, he would have to animate for that, and like he oh, just definitely. be kill like killing himself, bro, dude. I can just imagine at the end when he's like finished animating, he's like, "Nope, I'm done." <laughs> <laughs> he has. To, he just has to animate himself like dude that would be pretty just... sad okay don't but... credit me on this <laughs> i want no affiliation for this project i, t I hold no responsibility <laughs> okay but now we have to talk about like the real matchup spider Cur spider frog versus bully mcguire yes sir Ooh. it's like my uncle kaggy once said with great power comes great big big booty bitches. bitches. <laughs> and Bully McGuire just looks up and be like, I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. <laughs> Look at little Frog Jr. 
gonna cry. Gonna cry. <laughs> gonna cry. And then like he goes into his house, and then uh, Spider Frog comes in. He's like, "Hey, you better give me your rent for that. I'll give you rent when you fix rent. this damn it's door." He throws the door at him. <laughs> Fight starts. Dude, that yeah, Spider Spider Frog <laughs> loses because he runs out of budget halfway through the fight. <laughs> he he's about to deliver deliver the final blow, and then he just runs out of bu- budget, and then just goes, "Fuck." Yeah, he's about to deliver the final blow. He gets a budget cut immediately. Gets one shot. Yeah. <laughs> Spider Frog may be powerful, but he's not powerful enough to dodge budgets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Spider Frog may be powerful, but capitalism is stronger. <laughs> Spider Frog may be powerful, but the executives hate animation, so. This is yeah. true. <laughs> Look at you, Warner Brothers. Fuck you, Warner Brothers. No one likes you. Unless Black Adam turns out to be good, then I will. I will forgive you. Then I will <laughs> forgive you. So, wait, apparently, I think uh, this episode got sponsored by the Black Adam movie. Really? Yeah, oh, I saw, like, really? on Twitter, if you go on Death Battle's Twitter, they'll be like, go oh, see the yeah, Black Adam movie. Yeah. Man, Warner Brothers was not Me, fair enough. Go see the Black Adam movie, watch the episode, watch to watch Black Adam get killed. <laughs> Guys, what the fuck? D- no, uh, Zaz, whatever his name is, Zazlav, uh, he's like, oh, so we sponsored these people? He watches Black Adam die, and he's just like, cut the show. <laughs> He didn't even just die. He got, like, the goriest death this season. I mean, Homelander still exists. Oh, that's true. I forgot about Homelander. Yeah, I'm, like, they were hyping this up in, like, one of the Fireside chats. They were saying, like, this is a really brutal death battle. And, like, I saw a lot of people saying, like, well, I guess Apocalypse is gonna win because it's kind of hard to make a gory death where Apocalypse dies since he can regenerate. And I was like, I yeah. could probably work around it. Like, I guess they couldn't. Like they they could give him the gory death, and then have all the blood destroyed or whatever. But I don't they could, or they have could the seed destroyed him. after the gory death. But like they it's it's hard him. to make that work. Yeah. It's it's a lot yeah. easier just to have him die all in one go. That's they true. could have they could have Black Adam basically rip him limb from limb, kind of like what he did in the um DBX. in the DB. And then he like kind of like vaporizes him with lightning, so he can't regenerate. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, since we're getting a uh, a Sonic episode in the next two weeks, what are your how are, um? I think we should talk about Sonic Frontiers a bit. I agree. Yeah, um, sounds good to me. Legitimately super hyped for it. I have. This is probably the most hyped I've ever been for a video game since Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Yeah. Oh, no, I agree. I absolutely agree. And, like, I'm just excited for it. I, I don't really have anything to say. Yeah. I don't really have any, like, trailer analysis, analyses or anything. I just am excited for it. The new girl, like, the new villain or whatever her name is, she kind of she kind of hey. a bitch, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. She's like the Sonic version of Wanda. <laughs> Or like the competently written version of Infinite. I I saw I saw like a meme that was I saw like a meme. It was like you know the Squidward like get out of my house meme. Yeah. I saw yeah. a thing that was a drawing that was just her as Squidward going, get off the island or die. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I read it in like Squidward Squidward's voice. Get off the island or die. <laughs> Get off the island or die. Are you insinuating that Infinite isn't well written, Potato King? Because Infinite is the best written character in Sonic Forces. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. My bad. I mean, to be I forgot about, about I forgot about the scene where Shadow calls him weak, and then it establishes his motivation. I know that's such like, a power. That's scene. I felt. I felt. Nothing for a character until that moment. Mm. I relate so much. I actually just didn't have emotions until I saw that scene. Yeah. 
then, like, then a single tear streamed down my eye, and I gained emotions. <laughs> Not gonna lie, Infinite could have been good. He really could have. But... Dude, Infinite is like the edge lord of Sonic. Like everyone was saying, like, "Ah, oh, mm-hmm. Shadow's too edgy." When Infinite is right there. Honestly, I wanted Infinite to be good. Yeah. I was praying, and he just wasn't. His design is really cool. Yeah, he has a really cool design. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say that. It's just like, he's just all like, I don't, no I don't even know how to explain it. Until I put on the mask. <laughs> God, yeah. He's like, like, and then the fact that they gave him like illusion based powers too could have that could have been so cool. I know. Dude, Infinite and versus Mysterio win. It, but I think the big problem was is that they, is that they, the the fact that they tied it to Mania. Yeah, yeah, that was my biggest problem. Like Sonic Mania, that's unironically one of my most favorite games of all time. Oh, definitely not. Yeah. And like my one only the- thing I don't really like about it is the lore, because like I just I just want to play the game. I don't want to like continue the story with forces or whatever, because I haven't mm. I haven't played forces to be honest. Yeah, honestly, the the fact that Force's story flopped and it was supposed to be that continuation of Mania definitely, like, it, it makes Mania's story definitely take a hit. Yeah. Because, mm. like, a game like Sonic Mania, you don't really need a story. You just need to show Dr. Ro- Dr. Eggman doing a bad thing. Go. Although, fun fact... At the end, if you get all the chaos emeralds in Sonic Mania at the end of the um, at the end of the game, like there's a little cutscene of Sonic going through like the little time that is, loop. That is a thing. cool scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, and then he and immediately he... comes out and helps Tails. Okay, no, so like but... this might be a little bit controversial. So yeah. I love Ma- Sonic Mania's bosses, mm-hmm. and uh. Alright, so you know, the true final boss, where you, like, go supersonic and fight Eggman and whatever his name is, the hard-boiled yeah. guy. I'm not gonna yeah, lie, yeah, that's like probably my least game. favorite fight in the entire game. It, it's kind of just... Yeah. There? It's like... Sure, oh. it's like, it doesn't really make me feel like a badass like Sonic 3's final boss did. And, like, it's just so clunky. Mm. Like, I'll run out of rings so often. And, like... It's really annoying because the f- it lasts forever, and you just do the exact yeah. same thing for, like, 25 times each. You hit them both. Yeah. Like I think my thing times. is that in um, Sonic 3, that one also lasted a while. But the thing is, is that it, it felt like a sense of urgency. It lasting a while felt tense because yeah. you felt like yeah. at any point in time you could lose rings and then just die. So the fact that you're able to hold on for so long, it feels like impactful in mania there's rings flying everywhere it yeah, doesn't and, really feel impactful and, and even then i still managed to lose rings because like uh he's like sonic sonic is so slippery and like eggman just does like yeah. the attack so often you only get like a two second window to actually hit him and like i just lose rings so often that i'm not really able to collect enough because they deplete really quickly yeah mm. I, I just that's just like the one thing i like truly don't like about mania because like i love the entire game and then when i get to the final boss i just i just like uh yeah yeah at the very least the boss fight theme is an absolute banger the theme is a banger i'm not saying the theme is bad it's obviously a banger <laughs> like the fight is honestly carried Old by sonic the music is good it's it's so good Mm. Me, me watching Eggman destroy the city while I'm jamming out to Flying Battery. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, I love Flying Bro, Battery. You listen, to, you listen to Flying Battery? All my homies love Ice Cap Mountain. That's what oh, I was Ice saying. Cap Mountain too, I love that. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Dude, Sonic... The Sonic is a series that, that, like doesn't like have any bad music well there are songs that sonic i sonic like, chronicles really... sonic chronicles has we don't some talk about awesome sonic chronicles music. we don't talk about sonic that was the thing that got the archie comics rebooted and i don't like that yeah but like 
you think of any like like main Sonic theme and just like I bet you can't name a bad one. Like even Forces, dude, I listened to uh what's it called again? The main theme? Fist bump. I listened to that song so much. Well that song's a banger. I know. Look, okay. The only game I can exclude the whole like fantastic soundtrack thing is the Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 3 and Knuckles version, uh, the Sonic Origins version of 3 and Knuckles. Oh yeah, the Sonic Origins the soundtrack is... sucks. Yeah. Genuinely awful. I know. Like, a hot take, I definitely do enjoy the, like, beta version of, um, Launch Base. I'm not a fan of the mm. others, and then Origins just kind of made them worse on top of that. Yeah. So, like, I haven't listened to Launch Base in a while when I played Origin, so I was playing it. I was like, it's an alright theme, and then I listened to the original, I'm like, look what they took from us. Yeah. Like, I like the what song on its own, it just does not fit Sonic 3, in my opinion. You just, like, go up to the song and be like, you're a good song, you're just not as good as the other one. It's like comforting a yeah. child. But also- you're good, you're just not Launch Base. <laughs> It's like comforting a child, but also keeping them humble. Yeah. You're, you're a good, Listen, you're a good you. song. It's you're a just... great child. I just like your sibling more. <laughs> Don't worry. You're a good kid. It's just you're not as good as the other kid. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. I still tolerate you. Yep. There's always a favorite. <laughs> Even if you don't think you have one, you have one. <laughs> yeah. So, I think we can all agree that Sauron is going to be after next time. Oh, oh no, definitely. Yeah. They've, they've been revealing. They've, they've, we just had Black Adam versus Apocalypse. Um, now we have Trunks versus Silver, but it's like the Archie and Xena versions. Yeah. Next one's definitely going to be a Sauron versus the Lich King. And then oh more, yeah, it's like new matchups or Voldemort, but yeah. come on, the Lich King is like the Lich King is way more iconic. Yeah, absolutely. It's a way better matchup. And then uh, yeah. uh, Cole in the he was saying in the group chat yesterday, Sauron mm-hmm. versus Darth Vader. Oh mm-hmm. dear, bro. Vader if they bring really Darth Vader bad. back. It- Dude, uh, Darth oh, Vader returning would be, be like based as hell, but against Sauron, no. Like, like you figure it would be Obito. Him. You figure if he comes back, it'd be Darth Vader versus Obito. Yeah, yeah. Give us, um, give us Obi Wan versus Kakashi too. I know. It's not yeah. like I don't want uh, uh, Vader versus Obito for the matchup. I just want it because like it's just Obi versus Kakashi. Like, but again. And that's, yeah. like, that's like the main reason I want it. Also, I think it could get into like way more like Sharingan shenanigans. Yeah. Obi versus. Apparently, I think. I think people say Obiso might win that one. I'm not sure. I heard Vader wins. I hope Vader wins because like oh. Vader is the character that needs a win at least once on Death Battle. Yeah. And he's one of those characters. Like Boba Fett. Yeah. I personally can't say I'm, like, the biggest fan of Vader versus Obito, but, like, it it's it's a good matchup for Vader. I will I'll say I'm not the biggest fan of it either, but, like, I don't have anything against this matchup, but, like, Vader versus, what's her name, like, Atoria from, like, Fate? Atoria, yeah. I don't have anything against it, it's just I know... I don't. I don't know like jack shit about fate, so that's why I just prefer. Honestly, that's why I prefer Obito because I at least know a little bit about Naruto. I know the yeah. general consensus at least. I I would say my preferred Vader matchup is Terra from Kingdom Hearts, but that's less a Vader matchup and more Anakin versus yeah. Terra. Do you guys think we'll ever get like an Anakin matchup, like not Vader himself? Unfortunately, um, I don't think that's likely. Yeah. Yeah, because Anakin and Vader are just basically the same guy, so you can't really... Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, th- that's true. Just have one. Like, if they're turning every version of Superman into a single one and they're compositing them, if they're doing that for, like, every comic character, pretty much, mm, I don't yeah. see why they'd suddenly make an exception for, like, different eras of Vader. You know? Yeah, that, that yeah. is true. I mean, they'll well, probably do that with, like, Kid Goku one day, though. Yeah, they'll probably have, like, Kid, mm-hmm. Goku, Kid Goku versus, um... Classic Sonic, versus... maybe? You see, I would want that, but that is an utter stomp for Classic Sonic. Yeah, that, that is true. Yeah. That is kind of a huge stomp. I'd still like yeah. to see it, though, because I, I like Classic Sonic. I do. Yeah. I'd like it's to see cute. just those games get represented, mutants. because they're, they're based. They are based. But, like, um... Speaking of Naruto, I really, really, really want Naruto vs. Luffy to happen. It's probably, like, my most wanted anime matchup, because I really like Luffy. And, like, with, like, stuff like, um, Mm -hmm. Year 5, I just really like him. So, if we're talking, like, most wanted anime matchups, I'm not, like, a huge anime guy, but, like, Mm. there are two matches that unironically, I really want to happen. One being, like, it's a huge stomp now, but I still want it. It's Gara versus Tai Long. Uh, I still want that to happen. It's probably yeah. not, like, ever. But, like, I, I just want to see, like, Tai Long get some serious representation in verses. Also, yeah. it's got Beyblade. Beyblade is Bay... Bay... Blaze? <laughs> Bay Blaze. Bay Blaze. Bay Blaze. That name is Bay Blurst. <laughs> oh my god. That is perfect. But um but yeah, Beyblade is just like really cool. I love Beyblade. Yeah. Oh yeah. It'd be cool to see that series be representa- represented. Yeah. And and then there's my other most wanted anime matchup. It's uh Light Yagami versus Walter White. You're kidding. That's a matchup? It's a it's like a huge matchup. And like what? Dude, it's like there's like trailers for it like everywhere. Oh my god, please tell me Walter wins. Apparently, please. he does. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's fucking bait. I know. This is now complete. You forget light. I am the danger. I am the one who knocks. <laughs> I just like I'm, I just imagine like uh, a thing like if in Walter's analysis, Boomstick is just like his name is Walter White. He lives at four twenty eight Albuquerque Lane or whatever. And then Wiz mm-hmm. just goes, "You're just gonna quote Breaking Bad the entire time, aren't you?" And then Boomstick goes, "You're goddamn right." Yes, please, please come on. That is perfect. I am the one who kills teenagers. <laughs> I am the one who kills Light Yagami in the hit show Death Battle. Dude. I, I, I'm, I like, really into Breaking Bad right now. And I would kill to see Walter White on the show. Want to know what matchup I want? What? Phoenix Wright versus Saul Goodman. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Better call Saul. If they don't... Ref- if they don't reference the meme at least once in the episode, terrible. The loser, like, it's the the fight isn't even, like, an actual fight. It's just a court case. Whoever loses, like, they just, like, rash out and then try to run at the other, and then they, like, I don't yeah. know, like something falls on them, and they die. It, it, has to end, it has to end with Phoenix Wright dying. Someone points out, Saul, you just killed someone. And he goes, Saul, good man, as he walks out. <laughs> But that's the, that's kind of like what I want the most is like, if they do an episode like Phoenix Wright versus Saul Goodman, they should have it as a court case. But whoever loses the court case, dies. Kind of like they should kind of do it like what like the Seven Battle Royale did, where they have it as like a um an actual thing that's happening. And then oh, yeah. yeah, the thing with that is like, like yeah, like back to yeah. for example, back to Light versus Walter. That Walter. episode would definitely need to be story-based based and not, yeah. like, action. 
you could have like a couple of moments where they like actually fight but like most of the time it'd just be them like talking and like a mi- it'll be like a mystery kind of like yeah light tries to figure out like walt's real name because you know his like co-name is like heisenberg you know yeah and then like it could start out with light like um watching the news and like hearing about like all this drug stuff going on and then yeah he like seeks out walter and tries to kill him because you know drugs and stuff I'm just and he a, doesn't want that to happen. I'm just imagining the death he does find out, like, Walter, Walt's identity, and then, like, he gets a heart attack. And then he just, like, gets up, pulls out a gun, and then shoots light like the Sigma oh male he is. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> and that's when he dies. Dude, that, that'd be, like... That un- unironically be so hype. That would be sick. <laughs> yeah. No, that'd be amazing. It really would. All right, I don't think we went into this last time, but what is your least favorite episode? Of the show? Of the show, of like Death Battle as a, as a whole. You already know. Well, well obviously, yeah, yeah, my bad, sorry. It's all right. um, obviously, Bieber versus Black is like absolutely awful. But I also feel like that's the obvious ones. Yeah, like, that. yeah. like answers like Beaver vs. Black and Shattered vs. Mewtwo, like, they're objectively, like, the worst of the show. But I feel like those shouldn't count. They're, like, you should, like, do the personal least favorite episodes of the show. Yeah. yeah. Personally, I don't think there's a single thing that I like about Yang vs. Tifa at all. Yeah. Oh my god, that's Dave, true. I hate Yang vs. Tifa. The death, I, mean, I will say, it's cool in concept, but, like, when you notice that, like, Yang shoots her gauntlets both directions, it, like, realistically shouldn't have done anything. Yeah. Was yeah. That, like, was it or something? Yeah, it would just, like, it, it might give Tifa it, a headache, horrible. but, like... <laughs> it just vibrate her head. Give her a bit of an unpleasant, like, massage. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that so, should... Like, like I'm just... Like, Yang should have just, like, headlocked her and, like, then did the rocket thing. In, yeah. Like, with, like, both arms. I would have preferred it if, like... Now, I know this might just be my bias coming out, because I really like Tifa. She's, like, my favorite female character just ever. But, like, I feel like it would have been better if it just ended with Tifa shoving an icicle through Yang's skull. No, I absolutely agree. Yeah. Like, did you guys hear that? Like, I, they said that Tifa would like stomp Yang now. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, they they said like if we did a rematch now. By the way, Tifa absolutely stomps, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's better than like going through all the trouble of making a rematch because like I feel only like a select few episodes need to be remade, like Master Chief yeah. versus Doom Guy, and. Luigi versus Tails, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Luigi versus Tails. That episode. that is my personal least favorite episode of the show. But like the thing is, I think I might prefer Luigi fighting Pac Man now. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah, like yeah. mostly because like I've just moved on and also I just really want to see Pac Man on the show. <laughs> I think my Absolutely. biggest issue with the idea of remaking Yang versus Tifa is the fact that, like, the matchup itself is not good. Like, the episode wasn't good, and I understand the idea of wanting it to be remade so it's good. Yeah. But the matchup itself, the connections just are not good. Both have so many other, like, amazing matchups. Yeah, and, like, and, like, stu- and other matchups like Link versus Cloud, sure, they don't have, like, any connections, but, like, it's the Nintendo versus PlayStation rivalry, like, it has history. Yeah. Yank versus Tifa, Tifa has, like, nothing going for it. It's just it's women just, punch. Uh, women who punch. <laughs> women and their fists are a little bit harder than normal. Yeah, yeah, like, I saw someone say that, like, if Yang does come back, she should fight Garnet, and I just... It's the same thing there. It's just women who punch. I know. Like, 
I much prefer. And that's like that. that's like the one thing I'll give Yang versus Bakugo. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. No, because at least at least there's more to it than that. Yeah. With like the anger and the explosions and shit. Honestly, that's, that's why I love really Yang good. versus Leone so much because the two are basically like the same character. There's so many connections there. It's kind of like uh, the situation with Shadow versus Ryuko. Yeah, yeah, They're, it's like, like practically one is the same character. Much the other. Yeah, except and like they still have a different move set to make the fight interesting instead of just punch, exactly. punch, maybe a kick. Oh yeah. But um like there there's an animation that I saw of the two fighting. It shows just how good of a fight that can be. Yeah. Considering the fact that like Leone being an assassin I means she's used to like fighting in the shadows. So having someone that's mm. a bit more stealthy versus one that's way more like aggressive and head on, that would work so well in a fight. Yeah. I think I prefer the much le- the much um the much less superior matchup of uh, Yang versus Vi from League. Mostly just because of my Arcane bias. I really like Arcane. It's like my... It's one of my favorite shows on Netflix. Yeah. So yeah. I really like the matchup. I do agree that if Yang does come back, she should probably fight Bakugo. And um, if Tifa comes back, I would say she should fight... I think currently her most popular matchup is... Uh, Makoto from Persona 5. Yeah, yeah. I, heard, I heard people said they want Tifa versus Sakura. I mean, I work, guess. But it, it is kind of a stomp. I could kind of see that. I was going to say. Like, like that's, not, that's not the greatest matchup, but that's still better than Yang. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, um, I think with. Um, I think. Tifa versus Makoto is definitely Tifa's, like, uh, preferred matchup. Oh, oh absolutely. Uh, from what I understand, I think Tifa should probably win, considering Persona kind of got debunked to, like, uni instead of, like, sheer, instead of, like, outerversal, because apparently the outerversal statement only comes from, um, statements from Shin Megami Tensei. Which, oh, yeah. Um, yeah has no, like, despite being in, like, the same universe, doesn't really have anything to do with Persona. So... Ignore the canines. Yeah. 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 And, like, even then, like, with the whole Yaldabaoth thing, and the merging the real universe and the metaverse together, that's only, like, apparently that's only universal at best, so Tifa probably should stomp. Especially with, like, the studio, which is, like, I think multi-universal i think yeah you guys uh sorry about the dogs that's okay yeah you did you guys hear him barking yeah yeah they do that a lot that's okay that's what dogs do i have two dogs of my own and right now they're just kind of sleeping i was gonna say y'all just heard my dogs barking so i I can't judge (laughs) like sometimes when i'll when i'm releasing a video and i'll just like go through the audio like, I'll just sometimes hear, like, my dogs just barking in the background, and I'm just like, I don't want to re-record this, it's fine, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the animals are always, like, <laughs> the unfactorable variable. <laughs> mm. So You never know when they're gonna ruin something. Yeah. So, like, speaking oh, of bad matchups, what would you guys say is your least wanted matchup? See, Ooh. that's that's hard to say because like yeah. there's a lot of bad matchups. Yeah, but like there's a lot of bad matchups. But like, how about like, how about this? What's a popular matchup that you like don't want to happen? Oh, I might have to think on that one for a while. All right, so like this, I don't, you guys might disagree with me on this, but I really hate Spider-Man versus Ladybug. Really? Yeah, I like. I definitely think. I definitely think Ladybug has a better opponent with Randy Cunningham. Yeah, I vastly prefer Ladybug versus Randy Cunningham and Spider-Man versus Donatello. Wait, Donatello? As in the Ninja Turtle? Yep. Oh, yeah. No, actually, that is a good matchup. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So what were you saying? I think, for me, it's probably 
Demi Fiend versus Spawn. Demi Fiend versus Spawn. Yeah. Yeah. Ghost Rider. I'd say Ghost Rider is a way better opponent for Spawn. Yeah, mostly just because of Ghost Rider. But also because, I don't know, it's just not really. It doesn't really click with me like the others do. So, wait. Speaking of Spawn, how would you guys feel that instead of Ghost Rider versus Spawn and Dante versus Kratos, they remade Kratos versus Spawn? Eh, I prefer them to do know. Dante versus yeah. Kratos and um, Ghost Rider. Yeah, I don't know how I feel, but like, you guys do agree that like Kratos versus Spawn would have been a way better episode if it was in season two. Definitely, oh, definitely. Yeah, it's like it's just. A matchup that like needed that longer runtime. It needed that like three D animation from Torian. Yeah, that would have been yeah, bad. Yeah, I honestly think they should bring Torian back for like a few more episodes. Because when um when uh Wukong versus Hercules was like happening, I was basically I was praying that it was going to be done in like the same style. Of animation as like All Might versus Might guy. That would have been sick. Because that would that would work so well with the characters. Yeah. I mean, of I, course I will the say there that bad, I did. But... I will say there that if we got that, we wouldn't have gotten that gorgeous hand drawn background and like the scroll bit. So like, mm. we would lose some of that. But like, it would still be sick to see that. Maybe in like a, to make it more like even more hand drawn than All Might versus Might guy. It would like look more like yeah. that style. That could have been really cool. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Maybe they'll do something like that for another mythology matchup, like uh, Hercules. No, not, Her- not Hercules. Uh, Zeus versus Odin or something. That'd be cool. Yeah. Although, I feel like if they were to bring back Torian for another episode, it definitely should be for either, like, Hellboy versus Nero or Dante versus Kratos because he has such like a. Yeah. I was rewatching Dante versus Bayonetta, and you can really see that Torian really does have a great kind of like understanding of how like Devil May Cry characters fight. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. He definitely does. So I really yeah. think. Mm. Also, especially since Dante versus Kratos is probably like definitely in my like top ten most wanted matchups. Yeah. It'd just be cool yeah. to see you get the same love as Dante versus Bayonetta. Yeah. So this is probably gonna be my last question since I have like some other stuff I need to get done, you know? Yeah. So like what do you guys think is gonna be the other four episodes of this season? Mm. <laughs> I think we can all agree I'm... that we think Jason versus Michael is going to be after oh, no. the next next time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jason versus Michael is definitely going to be. Um... Hold on. When is. Um... So the next episode comes out October 2nd, right? Yeah. 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 It does, yeah. So, then... so if, if we are to believe like Sauron versus the Lich King is coming out after Silver versus Trunks. By all means, the next episode after that should be the Halloween episode, so Jason versus Michael. Yeah, yeah after Jason Sauron versus Lich King, because like that on, releases. Because like that releases. No, the next episode could have actually come out on Halloween. Yeah, the, the like the episode day. after, the next next time, like when, yeah, it comes out on October thirtieth. Eight, yeah, six. Wait, yeah, it comes out like. On uh, October 16th, I believe. And then after that, yeah. like, on Rooster Teeth, it releases on the 30th, and then on YouTube, it releases on the 31st. 31st. So, it's definitely going to be uh, Jason vs. Michael. Yeah, and, like, Ben even, like, teased, like, earlier in the year. Like, he, w- he like, quote retweeted like, uh, Ismahawk post. He was like, wow, these guys are great. I want- Wouldn't it be cool if we hired them for something? So, like... He definitely like teased that we get we're getting something later this yeah. year. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be for Jason and Michael. And imagine if like, it. imagine if we get like the Ismahawk logo and they show like freaking, like, 
a matchup we were not expecting to be live action. Imagine Who's ready for the next live on. action episode, Bowser vs. Eggman? <laughs> Speaking Starring of Jim Carrey. I'd be down for that. Yeah. But, um, I think... Do you think Bowser vs. Eggman is going to happen in November or December? I'm going to be completely I honest. I don't think... I, I don't think Bowser vs. Eggman is going to happen this season. I kind of I kind of lost hope to be honest. And to be completely honest with you, beyond Jason versus Michael, I'm very scared to say this one because this is the one that like everyone's always predicting, and then it just doesn't happen. I really do feel like Rue versus Mega Mind has a good shot. Dude, it has a really good shot. Like, yeah, especially with the theme of bringing in new series yeah. this season. Mm. It like really fits because like. Megamind, he's getting a new series. He's still extremely popular. Gru, he just got a new movie with his name in it. Yeah. And, like... Wait. Did you just think Megamind? Fuck, ended up being, like, one of the biggest names in this year. This so. is the first time hearing this. Huh? No, I'm just, like... Because you said that Megamind was getting a new series. And I'm like, really? Yeah, he's getting, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna be... He's getting a new series. Oh, hell yeah. 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 Mega Mind sweep. Let's go. But um. So. I definitely do think that we'll get Dante versus Kratos. How I think, how I personally think it's gonna go, is like after Sauron's episode, we get Jason versus Michael, then yeah. Rue versus Mega Mind. And mm-hmm. then, wait, no. I, I think after Jason vs. Michael, we'll probably need to get another Marvel vs. DC. Not a Mar- like a Marvel or DC match. Because, you know. That's. Maybe. The Adam vs. Ant Man movie? I don't know. <laughs> not, not, not a Marvel vs. DC match. I mean, like a Marvel um, or a DC matchup. Okay, yeah, I think yeah. we'll probably save that for um, Kylo versus Simone if that does happen this season. Yeah, yeah but like the thing I is, they barely it. ever go like more than three episodes without a Marvel, Marvel or DC fight. That's, so that's true, just a but thing. we did get like a lot of Marvel episodes at the beginning of the season because, like, just in the first season alone, we got Scarlet Witch versus Atana. Then we got uh, what else? What came after? Literally Scarlet only versus... wait one sec. Literally only uh well, after that was Thor versus Vegeta because Thor after versus Scarlet Vegeta. Witch versus Zatanna was Jonathan versus Tanjiro and I think after that yeah. was Thor versus Vegeta. And then after that was oh, Omni Man versus oh, Homelander, which like yeah, it's not a Marvel versus a DC match, but it's also technically a comic fight. Yeah. Then we got um, Thor versus Vegeta. Then we got Magneto uh like Omnilander. And then Magneto versus Tetsuo. Yeah. yeah. Um and then so I think yeah, after that, it's like, Wukong versus Hercules. Yeah, well, Wukong versus Hercules. And then so Boba like, versus Pred. So Boba Fett versus Predator was like the only matchups where you didn't have to read for both characters. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. like, Wukong, you had a uh, Journey to the West, and then like all the others had like mangas or comics and stuff. Mm. But like Boba versus Pred, they just really only had the movies. I mean, sure, they had comics too, but that wasn't really their primary source. I still think that we're definitely going to get Luz versus Anne. I know a lot of people, I know a lot of Owl House yeah. fans are like, oh, they should wait until Owl House is finished before they um make Luz versus Anne. But, like, Death Battle, they don't really care whether or whether or not a series is finished. Because, like, even, even, like, back in yeah. Season 7, when uh, Rise of TMNT was still starting out, uh, they still used, like, um, feats from that. Yeah. Yeah. Before the movie or the show ended. So I definitely think that Luz vs. Anne is going to be the cartoon episode this season. Yeah. The thing with I was going to say, that, like, like... Luz vs. Anne, that's like. The Owl House is, like, almost over. That's the thing. So, yeah. So, like, Rise yeah. of the TMNT, like. That was, that was back in, like, 2020, and, like, they already had, like, all the other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff, so, like... Mm. I that guess was... that's true, but then there was also, like, um... 
what other episodes were there where the characters like um oh god now I can't think uh Saitama versus Popeye that the anime in the manga hasn't finished yet but they still used it so just because yeah, yeah, that, that is that is true. Yeah, they've kind of Doesn't come to terms that... with the fact that like a lot of times they've used the character and then immediately after that character gets new material. So if your mm. name is not Ruby Rose, they don't seem to really give a shit about that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm looking back at my old videos now, and I just saw the thumbnail for Doom vs. Luther, and it fucking made me laugh. I'm gonna have to oh, check that God. out in just a minute. Whenever I, it's, yeah. an image of, it's 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 hilarious. It is the best thing I've ever come up with. Yeah, even better than my Shadow versus Ryuko thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, so I think I might have to cut it here now, guys. Yeah, that's yeah, fair. I also, probably because like I, it is. I just got one thing to interject with before now. that. Yeah. Um. So. Obvious bet. Season finale's got to be Simon uh, Simone versus Kyle, right? Like, yeah, that that's like yeah. the biggest. That's like the biggest thing that's probably gonna happen. But like, mm. honestly, I I think I'm kind of doubting that it might happen this season because like, yeah. I don't know. Because remember, everyone else, everyone's going like, oh, Galactus versus Unicron is gonna happen this season, guys. Yeah, that's very and then true. like it didn't. Like Saitama and Papa yeah. were like, ha, you thought. So that's bitch. a good point. So, like, that's kind of why I'm doubtful. And also, I'm pretty sure, like, Simon versus Kyle, like, it started getting, like, really popular, like, very recently, like, last year, I think. Yeah. Like, it was obviously popular, but, like, it didn't explode until last year, I think. That's a good I might, point. I might be wrong on that. I'm not sure. No, yeah. I did. it did. It definitely wasn't anywhere near as popular as it got last year. Yeah. I think even when like, when when did Will of the Drill come out? I think. Summer. Um, I think like that was sometime mid- in the summer was, of last yeah, year. That was July of last year. I want to uh, say. Yeah, I was gonna say June or July. And then I think we got the vocal yeah. late August. Yeah, I think so. Dude, Will of the Drill goes so hard. Yeah, it came it out. Really it came out. The vocal version. Yeah, the vocal version. Uh, the 30th of July 2021. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think after I watch, after I finish Breaking Bad, I think I'm gonna start watching Gurren Lagann. Oh, Bro, please do. It's so good. Wild yeah. It is really good. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was either, it was, it's between that or starting Death Note. And like, I've actually I, been... I don't think, I don't think Death Note is a show that I would get like too into. I just like I just like it because I like Light versus Yag Light versus Walter. Yeah, uh, that's fair. Yeah, so like I'm, I'm not sure if I how like how into the show I'd be. I might check it out sometime, but I'm not sure. The amount of shows that I've started simply because I saw a debate featuring a character from said show, or I saw like a Brandon like Commission featuring that. It happened a lot. So, like, Saitama versus Popeye, that was the episode that finally got me into One Punch Man. And I, I, dude, it, it became one of my most favorite shows of all time. I love that show. Did you hear, guys, hear they're making a season three now? Yeah. Dude, I'm so hyped for that. I will say season two did kind of suck. Like the first yeah. season, first season was, was like season. honestly one of the best pieces of media I've ever seen, and then the second season yeah. was like. Eh. I remember back in the day when I was like obsessed with One Punch Man. There were like countless of um, there were like countless videos, where like boundless. No, but there were like videos of like Saitama. Um, versus, like, Superman one and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, Saitama versus Superman, Saitama versus Goku. Yeah. And, like, I I remember, like, the first episode of One Punch Man release, and everyone was going, like, yeah, Saitama versus Superman, Saitama versus Goku, Saitama wins easily. Like, come on, guys. And that was just because, like, he, he, like, said he never loses a fight. 
Mm. Yeah. I, I love the fact that the recent chapters have like shot that in the foot where it's shown like, oh yeah, this is pretty much Saitama's full power now. He's at like what what is he at? Like solar system, universal? Yeah, I hear like the yeah, recent chapters yeah. like kinda made it's like it doesn't bode well with fans because like you guys know that Biff Weed is like a huge OPM fan. Yeah. yeah. Like he uh he was like saying in like one of his tweets that he was like he didn't like it because it like made Saitama like too much of a Mary Sue. Yeah. Dude, I, I can only imagine Biff's reaction to this episode. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure he posted an image on Twitter with him, like, he had, like, a glass of wine with it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've been I off Twitter that. all day, so, like, I didn't get to see it. I'll have to check that out. But speaking of which, I think I, I think I gotta head out now, now for real. Yeah. Uh, do we yeah, have any, closing, any what? closing remarks? Boss Baby versus Springtrap is the best matchup ever, and you guys know it! That's okay. true. And that's not uh, just to you Teddy guys, King? that's to everyone watching this. Teddy King, do you have anything to say before we uh, cut it off? Uh, if Yang versus Bakugo happens, I'm gonna fucking cry. <laughs> and there you go, folks. All right. I guess it's my turn. Um, everyone... Go subscribe to my channel. I assume the link will be in the description below. I also, hope I don't forget. If I sound very quiet in the video, I apologize. It is like 12.30 in the morning. So, I will hopefully be asleep by the time this goes up. Uh, I'm, I'm putting, I'm gonna release it tomorrow, like after it releases on YouTube. I, I'm gonna do uh, that like yeah. every, for every okay. episode. Yeah, that's sick. Fair. Yeah, so like, cause I know sometimes people like curiosity gets the best of them, and then they, yeah, and then and then they still complain that they got spoiled. Mm. Oh man, why did I come on to this video that basically said we were going to be watching it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, at least, at least we're not like. Matthew. Like putting the next time. At least we're not going on to like Twitter and going. Oh yeah, by the way, Apocalypse won. Uh, Trunks versus Silver, like Archie Trunk. Uh, <laughs> Zeno Trunks versus Archie Silver's next. Let's it's spoil not a bunch impossible of stuff. to happen. Okay. I'm not dumb. Did I hate it when like I go onto YouTube and the first thing I see is like someone's thumbnail for the next time and be like Trunks versus Looking Silver you, next Matthew. time trailer or something, and then like yeah. sometimes sometimes I'll even see like. Like Black Adam's death. Like I remember when Iron Man versus uh Batman. I was like, and then like the day off, I looked on YouTube and I just saw a title that was just like Batman's death, death battle. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, like I remember which there were like three of them. <laughs> yeah. All right, for real. I, I think... remember, like even right before uh, YouTube launched the Madara versus Eisen, I remember immediately seeing a video. It was just like, oh, so everybody when Saitama versus Popeye was revealed, and I was like, God damn it! I know. <laughs> oh man. Mm. I so I, I I I need to end this now. I guess I'll yeah. be seeing you guys. Really Can't cool. wait for the next time. That's gonna that's gonna be a ride. Yeah. Oh, I'm so hyped! Dude, I'm so hyped for that. The Hedgehog action figure ready. <laughs> oh man. So, yeah. Right, well, see ya. Alright, see ya guys. Yeah.